Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to my space. Those of you that are new, my name is Raquel. And those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I'm glad to see you again. This will be the Scorpio December love reading. This will go for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, these are general messages. They will not resonate with everyone. So if they don't resonate with you, please go check out your other uh, sign videos located here on my channel. These are energies are fluid. You can put yourself in the reading wherever it resonates best with you. I'm going to do couples and singles and I'll put timestamps in the description box and the comments below. And you and you alone are responsible for the choices that you make. This is just one outcome. The future is not set in stone. You can always change it because you have free will. So never give your power up to a reading or a reader. All right. Okay. Well, now all my disclaimers are out of the way. Let's get into this. We are going to do the couple Scorpio couples first. So this will be for Scorpio couples, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So Spirit, my guys, my spirit family, <laughs> my soul family, what is going on with Scorpio, Scorpio couples in December in the love department? Scorpio couples love December 2019. Please and thank you. The main message in love. Please and thank you, my guys. Okay. I hate it when it does that. They keep falling on the floor. I understand it. All right. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help and support from others. So some of you might be going through some trying times in your relationship right now. Um, and this is saying reach out to friends, reach out to family, reach out to those who have probably been there within your same situation because your love life, your, your partnership needs some advice, needs some counseling right now. I did hear counseling. So you might, some of you might have to go to counseling is what I'm feeling. But um, you need to ask for uh, your friend's help, your family's help. Let's break this down further with the tarot and I'll know more. I'm a Scorpio rising, so <laughs> I can relate to you, Scorpio. <laughs> All right. One more shuffle and then I'll cut for you, Scorpio. There is hope in this situation, but you're going to need to reach out. Um, you need, you need um, strong support around your relationship is what I'm hearing. This could be a relationship with the Taurus because I'm getting heavy um, Taurus vibes off of this. Um, somebody who works a lot, but um, I feel like they're feeling burnt out. Your intuition is on point right now where, where it comes to your um, significant other or the person that you're with. Um, I do see some clinginess, some codependency here. Um, not, I don't feel like it's your part. I feel like it's their part. Um, and this does involve a marriage. I feel like this is a marriage. Um, it could be a marriage to a Leo as well. Cause I'm getting the King here, the King of wands, but it could, it could just indicate the strength that you need to, um, take the strength that, um, holds up your family, the happiness, and you need to be more independent. I, there, 
there's some type of false information that was gathered here, but it's getting your wheel to turn. You're denying something though. There's something being denied here. In denial about something. Okay, yeah. Wow, they've really had a message for you, the underlying, um, the underlying message. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this, I feel like these two energies are yours and um, the other person's, okay? It's like you've got your intuition going great, going good. Um, it could be that this is also your energy. You're financially stable. You're, you finally made something of yourself with that intuition, using your own intuition. You've created abundance in your life using your own intuition here. Or it could be that your intuition is on point and it's on point about this earth sign. Okay. With this, the four of pentacles and the four of wands, some of you might want to look up the um, number 44, but um, this is clinging on to that stable home life that you have with this person. I really feel like this is a marriage here. And I feel like that's why spirit is asking you to reach out to your friends, to your family. If your marriage is a little rocky right now, um, but you're both clinging on, you're holding on really tight. You need to, um, ask for help and advice and maybe seek some counseling. With the Nine of Cups and the King of Wands, there's a lot of strength and happiness in this relationship. You, and I just heard you don't know how strong your relationship is. So somebody out there is taking this relationship for granted. It's either you or it's them. But there's a lot of strength and stability in this, in this relationship. Even if it might seem like there's not, even if it might seem like, um, something happened in the past. So how can we get moved past it? There's a lot of happiness here. There is a lot of happiness here. It's like, I'm, and I'm getting, and this is going to sound really weird. And just, just know that this is the energy. So you could put female, male, wherever, but what I'm getting is like, you kissed a lot of frogs to get your prince or princess however it is, but you've kissed a lot of frogs to get your prince or princess. And this is your prince is what I'm hearing. This is your prince. This is your rock. This is your strength. Okay. There's a lot of strengths in here. And then I'm seeing, I'm also seeing, um, in the background, the wise men, they're kind of religious, kind of like hierophanty. So I feel like it is, um, it is again saying counsel seeking help, seeking help from your friends, seeking advice from your family. Um, there needs to be something like that here. And I'm being noted, I'm, I'm, my eyes being drawn down to that salamander and salamanders. If you don't know something about salamanders, they can have their tail cut off and their tail can grow back. It's like they can endure a lot. It takes a lot of strength. Okay. And that's what I'm getting with this King of Wands here. I feel like there's a lot of strength in this relationship, even though it might feel on rocky ground right now, there's hidden strength that needs to be brought up. There's a lot of happiness that can be had here. I've heard, like I said, you've kissed a lot of frogs to get your prince or you've kissed a lot of frogs to get your princess. Okay. So that's what that's saying there. And then we've got in, we've got this. Okay, so we've got the page of, of um, swords and we've got the nine of wands. So where I feel like, um, I feel like with this is you're both, I feel like you're very independent. You're very strong willed. Um, you're ready to go and get what you need out of life. Okay. You're very spirit, spiritual and spirit led is what I'm hearing. Um, especially with that priestess over there, it's like, you've really been listening to your, um, to your soul. You've been listening to your intuition. You've been going after your dreams. You've been following them. You've been following your intuition. Okay. And this is saying with the page of swords, there's going to be some type of information coming in to further advance you 
to further advance you in this love situation. I feel like it's like you're going to be smarter or wisen up to how to, how to fix this problem, but it's something that you've got to do on your own. It's something you've got to fix on your own at first. Or maybe you feel, no, maybe you feel like you are the one that is solely trying to fix this relationship. And they're saying that you're stronger than you think. They're saying that this relationship is stronger than you think it is. This is karmic. You know who also got this? Libra. So you might want to check out the Libra reading. Um, but there you're in denial about you're in denial or you're running away from some type of karmic um karmic theme here. You're running away from some type of karmic theme, and because you're denying it, it's like your wheel's not turning. So the wheel in love, you're denying something either denying your partner something or your partner's denying you something um maybe denying um talk i feel like when you talk when you talk try to talk this out it's like you're coming off as the only one talking like your partner's not talking back and i feel like that is because your partner feels like they don't have a voice is what i just heard um but you need to get the wheel, this wheel to turn. And in order to do that, you need to work out your relationship problems here. They're saying, let your friends help you. Let your parents help you. Let go to counseling, go to your priest, go to, go to somebody that can help you give you wise relationship advice because they know your situation. If you go to your friends and family, they know your situation. All right. So let's see two of cups is your energy so um this is you taking a good look a good deep look at yourself um and seeing if soul reflecting soul reflecting and you know what's funny is my my um channel is soul reflections so it's like really taking the time to reflect on what's going on inside your soul. Um, I do feel like you feel this person is your soulmate is like a reflection of you. Um, so in order for maybe for you to understand them a little bit more, you need to reflect inside your own self a little bit. All right. So they are the six of wands. They are the six of wands. They might be somebody that's very popular. Somebody that is very, um, uh, in demand, maybe a lot of friends call them or, or something along that, those lines. I feel like, I feel like they do recognize the problem here, but I feel like they're trying to avoid it by, um, by hanging out with other friends, hanging out in social groups, hanging out in social parties. It's like they're distracting themselves from the problem here is what I'm feeling off of that card, which is weird because six of wands usually is, doesn't mean that, but that's the energy that I'm getting off of that card. Um, we've got the five of pentacles between you. So yeah, with the nine of pentacles up there as your underlying energy, I'm feeling like you're both, there's, there's like this, there's like this separation. All right. I'm sorry. My kid's screaming in the background. He does that when he watches uh, videos sometimes. But um, I feel like, okay, so remember how I said in the beginning, if you're in a relationship, but you feel like um, you're single and they're single, but you're still in the relationship, you haven't moved on, you're, something's still holding you there. I feel like this is that type of relationship. So you might want to watch the singles reading as well. But um, I feel like it's that type of relationship where you feel independent, you feel on your own, they feel independent, they feel on their own, and they and it's like you don't realize this gap or this space that you created in between you two. So let's see what's underneath of you guys, what you're both experiencing here. The advice, we got the two of swords. So yeah, there needs to be some type of decision made here. Um, but I feel like you guys are, are making logical decisions rather than using your intuition when it comes to this relationship. I think it's all logic in this relationship with whatever, um, 
decisions that are being made. And I think that's the problem. You're not using your heart. You're not using your intuition. You're not using your soul. You both are. I feel like there is a, a distance here and your advice is to let friends help you mend this. We've got the empress as the outcome. So nurturing, healing, growing. Okay. So the outcome to this looks good. It's all about nurturing it, healing it, you know, getting yourselves back to being that couple that you are. It is good to be independent in your relationship, but it is not so independent that you drive a huge wedge between you two. So this is like you you guys coming together, nurturing it, relearning each other again, healing each other. Um, you know, I suggest date nights, you know, and I know at first they're awkward because it's like when you are with somebody for so long and you get into that space where you're both independent and there's a huge gap there. It's like, well, what do we talk about? We've changed so much. Like, what do we talk about? Just keep doing it. Find something that you're both passionate about. Find something that you both like. Maybe do something, get back to what you did in the beginning of your relationship. What hobby did you guys do? What, what, what did you go do when you dated? You know what I mean? Do something like that. All right, so let's get some advice for you, Scorpio. Make each day count, yes. Yes. Make each day count. Each day <laughs> that you spend with this person, make it mean something. Make it meaningful. Now, that, that doesn't say go out and be all crazy and spend a ton of money and stuff like that. No. Make it meaningful from within your heart. You know, it doesn't have to be super expensive. And I feel like I should grab I, uh, Spirit saying do it one more time. So they have another advice for you. Where did it go? Like attracts like. <laughs> what did I say about this cup? About this right here. I feel like this is a soulmate, but with this, remember I said, you've got to really take a look at your own soul, your own reflection, because I feel like this person is a reflection of your soul, of your own soul. So to find, to help that person, you need to reflect on your own soul here, um, so that you can see, you can better understand them a little bit more, if that makes any sense, because like attracts like. All right. Well, Scorpio couples, I hope that um, this resonated with some of you. If it did, please leave me a comment below because this is a good reading. You know, this is saying there is potential here for you guys to fix whatever gap there is between you two. So, you know, this is a positive reading. If it resonates with you, please let me know below because these are just general energies that I'm reading. But when you, when you comment below and I'm reading the comments, sometimes spirit gives me extra tidbits of advice for that one person that I'm commenting to. So um, comment below, please. All right. <laughs> all righty. Well, I hope... You all have a very happy holiday, and I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care, Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio singles. This is your December love read. This will be for Scorpio singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of December in love. Spirit, my soul family. What is the main message in love for Scorpios in December? Single Scorpios in December. Please and thank you, my soul family. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> I know a couple Scorpio risings. I'm a Scorpio rising too, but I'm in a relationship, so... All right. Let go of control issues. Okay, so I think Pisces got this as well. I'm pretty sure Pisces did. So you might want to go watch the Pisces, especially if you have Pisces very heavily or predominantly in your chart. Um, but uh, 
what I'm getting off of this, and the reason why I said Pisces and I was able to recall Pisces is because Spirit wants to deliver the same message to you. All right. And this is saying, they're saying that um, we have, you have a criteria of what the person needs to look like, how the person needs to act, what type of job they have to have. You have a whole expectation list of what your true mate is and the person that you want to have next in a relationship, okay? And I feel like with this card, the universe is telling you that you need to let go of those control issues. Leave it up to the universe to deliver the right person to you. That's what I'm strongly feeling here for you, all right? All right, let's see what the tarot has to say about this. Let's see if we can get a little bit further for you, Scorpio. to trust that the universe is going to send the person to you at the right time and it's going to be the right person and you need to keep an open mind is what I heard. Um, this person is not going to fit that criteria, that expectation list and they can't let this perfect person come in for you because you have so many expectations. It's like you're blocking this person from coming in. You need to let go of expectations. All right, let's see what's going on here for Scorpio. All right, so I'm sorry, my husband's starting his car. Hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, um, you've got the Four of Cups as your underlying energy, and you are too focused on um, what this is for for me this is what i'm getting off of this is that you're too focused on what you think love should be all right you need to let go of those control issues yeah we've got two of pentacles so it's like time it's time for you to make the decision time for you to balance your balance it out right you know there's got to be a proper balance here. Maybe you can say, oh, yeah, I want one or two qualities about him and then leave it up to the universe. But the universe has somebody coming in for you. And the reason why they can't come in right now is because you have a high expectation list. You need to go with your intuition. Um, this could involve a Taurus or, um, or a Cancer. Taurus or Cancer. But this is something that you need to leave up to the universe because I feel like there's two people that might come in, two people that might come in that you might have to make a decision between. Um, and, you know, with this right here, that is a decision that you need to make in your material world. You need to use your intuition instead of your logic on this. You need to give up some control. All right. To the universe. Don't focus on on everything that it has to be a certain don't feel like everything has to be a certain way or everything has to work out a certain way. For some of you, this might be a third party situation where you're dating two people and it's like you want to you wanna settle down with one of them, but it's like um, you're kind of controlling when it comes to, to the situations with these two. It's like you are, you're not officially dating but you're dating and you're saying, well, why can't, why, why are you calling that person? Why are you hanging out with that person? It's like, I'm getting that as well. It could be that that person is doing that to you and you need to let go of the person that has major control issues with you. Okay. The person that is trying to control you now is only going to control you later on and even worse. So if this is a decision between two people, say it's the king of um, pentacles is the controlling one and the queen of cups is the non-controlling one, it's saying let go of the controlling one. You don't need the controlling one. Go for the one that's going to make you the most happiest. Um, you got to find some balance there. Don't use your logic. Use your intuition. Who are you being called to more? All right. 
And I know, <laughs> I'm Scorpio rising, and I know as a Scorpio rising that um, Scorpio, you guys are like all about change, all about doing new different things. You know, you like to transform. You like to um, be a certain way one day and then be a certain way the other day. You like to explore that, right? And, you know, Taurus, they're more stable. They're more structured. They're more, um, they're not as carefree. But Tauruses are, I feel, a good match for Scorpio. But it also depends on what else is in your chart as well. Your moon sign's got to be um I'm getting off topic. Your moon sign's got to be compatible as well. But um, what I'm saying is, is let go of the one that's controlling. If it's, just, if, the, if it's the queen of cups that's the controlling one, let them go. This could be the Pisces. Because Pisces also had that let go of control issue. So this could be the Pisces. It could be saying that you have to let go of a Pisces. Or it could be saying that, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. That's all I'm getting just from the bottom of the deck. Just from the bottom of the deck, those are the energies that are coming up for me that are influencing the most throughout the underlying energies here. Okay, so you are the Knight of Swords, defeated, okay? It's like you've done everything you can. You've tried so hard. It's like, please give me my moment. Let me, you know, have some clarity is what I'm feeling. You are asking spirit, let me have some clarity on who it is I should be with, who it is I should choose. It could also be that um, you need to take on that more Gemini-like quality and really like see every side, see all the sides of the picture I'm getting. I'm sorry, now my son's going crazy over there. You guys are the last reading of the day, so. All right, so then we've got the Six of Swords in the potential love spot. So, yeah, you're about to miss the boat on this one. You're going to have to pick between two. I feel like if you got two, I feel like this is going for Scorpios who are dating two people. And it's like coming, it's coming down to the wire where you're going to have to pick between two. All right, you're going to have to pick just one. Use your intuition because I feel like the others are getting tired and they want to walk away here. Um, what's between you? Two of Cups, Soulmate, Soul Reflection. You know, the couples had this as well. So if you are the cup, the couples watching this, because I think I told you to watch the singles, this is about reflection. You guys each need to reflect on um, your soul. You guys, okay, for one of you, um, for Scorpio, for the Scorpio singles, I feel like one of those is your soulmate, and that's why Spirit is saying to use your intuition here, because one of these is your soulmate. Go with the one that your soul knows the most. Go with the one that your soul knows the most is what I'm getting. 22 is significant. No, actually, 222 is significant for you, so please go look up that number. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so what's below you is the ten is the ten of um the ten of wands. So something heavy burning some. You've each been through something. All three of you, I feel like all three of you have gone through something very burdensome, something that burnt you, something that really was painful and it's like you stood in the fire you stood in the flames you let it happen and I feel like you guys are letting it happen now between the three of you I really feel like this is a third party situation I feel like you're dating two people We've got the seven of pentacles. So this is the outcome. This is you analyzing, seeing who is right for you, who isn't. This is you using your mind. So don't use your mind and your eyesight. You know, this is the outcome. You really want to use your intuition when picking here. Um, because you're still trying to figure it out come the end of December. All right. And that might make it that they walk away. They end up walking away because you can't choose. You need to choose. I'm hearing you need to choose. All right. So let's see what advice we've got for you.
Stop trying to control the situation. Just choose. Just go ahead and choose already is what I heard. Set your intentions. Set your intentions. You need to make it well known and well clear. Who it is you want, go for it. All right. And then tell the other one, I'm sorry, but we're just not compatible because one of these is your soulmate. And I feel like you already know who that is. I really do. I feel like you already know who that is. So you got to set your intentions and your sights. Set your sights on that person and tell the other person they're just going to have to go. Okay. Everyone has value. Focus on the positive. Yeah. So, okay. With this, everyone has value. When you're breaking up with that other person, they have value too. And, you know, maybe let them know that. Be like, you know, break up with them in a nice way. Don't don't break up with them in a harsh way, like through text message or through just giving, you know, ghosting them. Don't ghost them. Let them know what's going on because everybody has value here. All right. Everybody is part of a divine consciousness. Focus on the positive. So um, when it comes to this, it's like, Focus on your soulmate. Focus on the one that you're setting your attentions for. Set Focus on the person that really calls to your soul, the one that your soul knows that it wants, okay? And then the other person, you know, be nice about it and tell them, I'm sorry, you know, I'm just not that bonded or no, that, that would be bad. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Let them jump down gently. Focus, but you know, I know it's hard to break somebody's heart like that, but focus on the positive because you're doing this for yourself. You're doing this for your soul growth. You're doing this to be with your soulmate, all right? There's a lot of positive that can come out of here, and you need to do that this month because if you don't, you're still going to be anal you're still going to be looking, you know, analyzing it and not coming to reaching a decision, all right? And this is what's going to happen. They're both going to walk away from you. So you need to, you really need to pick somebody here, all right? You need to focus on the positive and set your intentions there. I know when I was, um, when I met my husband, I was dating somebody else and um, I had to let that person down, the person that I was dating, I had to say, hey, I'm sorry, but we can't be together. I, you know, I fell in love with somebody else, fell in love with this guy, you know, <laughs> 15 years later, I'm still with the guy because I followed, I followed my um, intuition. I followed my heart. I knew he was my soulmate. I looked in his eyes and I knew he was my soulmate. And Scorpio, you're very good at looking into people's souls. So this should not be hard for you. The only, the only reason why it's hard is because you're making it hard. You need to let go of those control issues and don't let it be hard. It's not as hard as it seems, okay? And if it feels like that, it's only because you're, you're getting in your own way, all right? Well, I hope that resonated with you because this is a very good positive outcome, okay? Let me know in the comments how these energies play out with you. Sometimes, you know, I read these and they're general readings. They're, it's general energy, but when... You put it in the comments and I'm reading your comment. Sometimes I connect to your energy and spirit gives me additional advice for you. So please, please, please let me know in the comments how this is playing out or how this resonates. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I will see you in the next video, Scorpio. Until then, happy holidays and take care.